Alrighty then, good afternoon all you fantastic people, uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with some more Planet Explorers, gonna be continuing where we last left off, so we gotta go hunt down Roll here in a second, uh, see if we can get some diagrams from her for the, uh, I believe these guys right here, and then we can craft a couple more and actually get that done. We also have to track down one other person, that will give us the blueprint for... What the hell is it? Oh yes, we gotta go all the way over here to the abandoned desert city. That will give us the blueprint for the actual monorail cart. Now, currently the monorail stretches almost out of the, uh, where is it? The Adhira Cave here. And then we have to go a bit to the northeast to get to the Martian colony. We have the old Martian camp, but the Martian colony is going to take a bit more doing, as it were. We actually have the uh, Pusian camp over here. So once I get out of the Adhira Cave, I might decide to either hoof it off to the east here, and then maybe head up the river, past the Pusian camp, and up to the uh, Martian colony. Or I could just go up the river to here and then kind of bank it across, but I think I might just go past the fire camp and then circle my way back up north. It's going to take a lot of uh, materials though, as it's not exactly the cheapest thing. But anyway, let's go to the abandoned colony. Get the one blueprint from there, and then we'll see about getting the other one. Eventually. Oh, don't you not respond. So help me. There we go. Slowly getting there. Apparently very, very slowly getting there, but hey. As it freezes up again for a second. <laughs> Oh, Planet Explorers, what are you doing? Also, speaking of which, or thinking of which, I actually need to go back uh, at some point to make sure to pick up my uh, chopper. Cause it should be fully charged by now. I'm pretty sure I still have that in my... Uh... What the hell? Oh, I was like, what the hell? There's supposed to be a giant ramp right here. What's going on? So yeah, it's just a slight little... Uh rendering delay I guess I wonder if I could have just walked into it then and had it just kind of uh, pop up around me sealing me inside for eternity who knows I wouldn't be surprised roll I found roll how you doing we're okay, the translation process is still ongoing. We're beginning to see the basic shape of their language structure. We've also seen more native acti activities around here lately. Not sure why they're about it. We're running low on rational supplies. Do you have any to share? A favor. Find Todd, build a monorail. Doesn't really say, but hey, Governor Skyrunner wants to build a communication system between our two colonies. Oh, so there's two colonies now. Well, this stinks. As for the, uh, what is it, comm system, sure, it's possible. I already have the software, however, I'll need to help from the civil engineer to apply it. Do we have anyone like that around? We do, actually. Mr. Wiles, oh, that's great. I've worked with him before, this can be done then. Take this, it's a script for the transmitter and receiver unit. He needs to include this in the overall grid setup. They'll keep transmitting the signals and keep them through the, or keep them up through the interference. Walk in the park, right? Yeah, as long as I have what I need. There we go. So I can now actually make these. Let's pull this up. Huh. Aha! Track joint. Alright. Let me actually build another... Let's say 40 of these. Oh, these can only be replicated in the colony. Well, that's a royal pain in the ass, but okay. So we do still need the other part, but we can do that. We can get that at the Martian colony. So let's get back to the player colony, chuck all this material into the uh, storage and whatnot, 
and then see about, or actually I might not even need to chuck it into storage, I just need to access the uh, crafter, and I'll have him make me, uh, what is it, 60 of the track joints, that should hopefully be enough, I think we had like 10 before, so 60 might be enough to uh, stretch you where we needed to go, or it might not, we'll see what happens, we will see what happens. If we don't spend most of this episode in the loading screen. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. Also, I need to grab that uh, drill at some point, that mining drill, and use it to kind of carve away the cliff so those damn fools would stop freaking climbing up there. Or spawning up there, I should say. So I'll have to remove a lot of the edge up top. I almost kind of wish some of the weapons would deform terrain. That would be nice. Who has a mission for me over here? Uh, Deeza, what do you want? Well, oh. apparently I don't have what you want. Oh well, she probably wants the tortoise shells and such. Alright, let's continue on then with our work. Or actually, no, I can't yet. What am I doing? What did I just say I needed to do first? Alright, replicator. Track joint. We'll see how quickly that gets built. Holy crap, that's slow. Like, goddamn. I did not expect that to be that slow. Alright, let's go to the uh, colony management screen here. Maybe I can assign more crew to it and it might speed up the process. That's my hope, at least. If I can get through the door here, it would help. <laughs> oh, lord. Alright. Colony. Personnel. Worker. Really don't need many soldiers. I don't need anybody on the repair machines. Let's see if that actually sped up the process or not. Should be fairly noticeable if it did. And I don't think it did. Well, damn. Well then, considering that's going to be taking its sweet time, let's go ahead and head over to the Martian colony then, and then we'll probably head up north and just keep on adventuring for a while, because it looks like the uh, monorail will not be finished anytime soon at that rate. <laughs> that's how fast the thing is going to craft. We'll be waiting a while. I mean, we do need a lot of them. And it hasn't even crafted one yet. Probably what I'm going to end up doing is I will tell them to craft even more than that. And then I'll just let the game run until they're complete. But uh, for today, we're just going to keep going and get this uh, bit done. And then I will probably get finish that off tonight. So I'll let things run earlier to or later today, and then I will uh, continue off later tonight where we will actually get that done. At which point, I'm probably going to have to make a lot more than 60, just in case. So I'll probably make uh, maybe another 100, just in case. Probably incredibly excessive. But hey, I can always link that up to elsewhere. Daida, what do I need for you? Why am I here? Who am I looking for? I guess Sarah, maybe. Or not. So I'm guessing this is simply where I need to bring the track itself. Who actually, let me check my journal here if I guess not the journal. 
That is not my journal. The monorail. So I'm not really sure who it said I need to grab the uh, other component from. I will have to double check there. Ooh. You have the steel armor. What am I wearing right now? I am wearing some of the steel armor. For whatever reason though, I'm still wearing copper pants. I should see about that. I also need to grab some of these components here soon and build some better rifles. Torpedo tubes, we got some missile silos. So he's loaded for combat, that's for sure. Oh no, I have my vehicle on me again here. Looks like it's mostly... No, actually, no, I take that back. It's not even remotely charged, so I took it with me, which is probably a bit of a mistake. Alright, in that case, let me quickly head back to the colony. We will drop off the uh, ship to completely recharge this time. And then I will head up north to the complete some more of the story missions. Since there's not too much else we could do at the moment. Yeah, 60 might be enough to get me close, but I want to make sure we have more than enough. Because we were given about 10, and that got us to nearly the Adhera Cave, which isn't too far. So, yeah, 160 will definitely do the job. So I think I'll quickly make 100 transmitters while I'm here, get them in the queue, and at least get it started as well. Oh, jeez. I was right, we are going to spend most of this episode in the loading screen. <laughs> Oh, lasers are all firing. Alright. Transmitter. Also, steel pants. There we go. That takes care of that problem. Transmitters, transmitters. Capacitors. Here we go, transmitter. Perfect. I wonder if they're all done. It's not really saying anything here. Nope, not even close. Dear God. Bless. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. They produce it in batches. Uh ho ho. No wonder it was taking as long as it was. I thought it was literally going to produce one, then produce a second, then produce a third. I was going to be like, oh, geez, no. That would be a little ridiculous. To say the least, that would be a little ridiculous. All right, let's get that done. So my inventory is probably now crammed full of track joints. Oh god, yes. I really wish they would stack, but unfortunately they will not. Likewise, let's open this guy up. Add some fuel. Chuck my chopper in there. And let that ref completely refuel up. All right. Let's go ahead and glide my way into the cave. Come on. Come on, forward momentum. Let's go here. It's definitely going to be a fun little monorail. Now it's going to get through the cave. And 
continue placing the various joints and we're good to go. Oh. Well, monkey guys made their way in here somehow. There we go. Let's haul ass. There's the damn spiders. As always. Wouldn't be an Adhera cave without the Adheras. There we go. This is definitely going to take a little bit of time. If I can adjust my... Oops, let me grab that. There we go, that's better. Perfect. From here, we will continue east, just past the fire bear's nest. If I can, I might go a bit south and kind of skirt the tree line, and then we'll head straight up north. We'll go in this general direction. Having to walk all this distance alone is probably going to take up a lot of time. It's kind of funny, somebody mentioned I'd have to uh, deforest the place, but it doesn't seem like I really need to. I mean, I'll have to adjust things a little bit. But overall, I shouldn't have to cut down too many trees. Unless it somehow blocks the cart itself, in which case, yeah, I might have to. We'll see. That should be good. Damn it. Oh, that actually destroyed it right there. Oh, well. Excellent. It's not cutting through too much terrain. I guess not. Alright. Now, can we make it across... Guess not. Not completely. Which is funny, because I was actually hoping to bank backward and, uh, like, across the river. Back and forth across the river, but oh well. Alright. Now I can kind of see where the hell I'm going. Bring this up here. Excellent. Might as well go near the fire bear's nest. Why not? Let's get a good view for this thing. Place that there. Too bad I don't get any resources when it destroys them like this. Wish I could almost just warp to the end of it here. I suppose I could even put a, uh, I could even put a stop right over here by the fire bear's nest if I was so inclined.
Come on. Move, damn you. Next page, of course, which is completely crammed full with these. Not surprisingly. There we go. The unfortunate, the biggest, the most unfortunate part is, of course, me having to actually physically run from point to point here to actually place all of these. I can't just kind of chuck them along the map or nothing. I mean, in one aspect, I can actually make a really cool looking custom track, but on the other side, then I have to actually spend a lot of time walking to the various camps. Like, you remember how long it took me to run from the Martian camp to the uh, Pusian camp there a while back? That was a bit of a pain in the ass. There's our little fire bear nest off there to the east. Damn. Almost had it. I wanted to angle it up like that. Ah, uh, nope, failed. Didn't let go fast enough. Oh well. I'm sure there's a way I can, uh... I can set this up so that it would raise the track. Like, it's probably just a button I'm missing for that, but oh well. It's not 100% necessary, so we'll just kind of move on. Excellent. And now we are at the river once more. So we'll follow this guy all the way up river. If I can. Let's see how much I can. Oh, if I can get this out of my way, <laughs> that would help. Good, so I can stretch it. Kind of how I intended to. We'll see if I can keep going back and forth between the sides here. Excellent. Just because I can. Although I honestly don't think we'll be going very fast at this rate, but hey. Or getting very far, I should say. Let me recycle that one. I don't have much choice, do I? Well, damn. There we go. That's what I was trying to go for. Excellent. At least it will automatically keep it above the water, it seems. There we go. Slowly getting there. One glowing light at a time. Or I should say laser. Either way. Oh, there goes my energy. Completely. And I can't angle my camera. <laughs> Sucks when I'm holding down the mouse for this, I cannot angle my damn camera. Alright, let's see if I have another energy pack here. I do. Fantastic. So I can still jetpack around. Nice. One more page over. It'd be nice if I could actually see here as it is a bit dark.
Let me actually forward time here a little bit. All right, sleep for. Well, let's sleep for 10 hours. That should give us a good bit of light. I should also probably eat something. As the hunger is quite low. I guess not. Let me sleep another two hours here. Good enough. All right, let's grab that. Let me go ahead and eat the various salads. And we can continue on. Now that we can see a little bit better here. I should probably also close this. I really don't need that in my face, too. Excellent. Go, go, go. How far have we made it so far? Actually, not too bad. I thought I wouldn't be making it nearly this far already. And I might not even need those hundred extra joints. Uh, oh, well. Oh, well, I guess my track will just be excessively long later on. Maybe I'll make uh, another monorail from Mars Camp to somewhere in the far north eventually when we uh, actually get over there. There we go. Ah, damn it. I had that perfect too. Shit, I left it in the water. I have to go grab it now, or otherwise it's gonna screw with my track. Bollocks. Slightly off, and it decided to just plop itself down here. Come on. Recycle. I like how the jetpack works in the water. Alright. Good enough. And away we go. Alright, so it'll be definitely nice when we actually start uh, riding this thing. I wish there was more arches, though. Kind of like what was on the other river, but unfortunately the other river would have just brought us away from the Martian camp. Otherwise, they totally would have uh, gone up that one instead. This definitely seems the more boring of the two rivers, but at least this also goes right next to the uh, Pusian camp, so there's that. Uh oh. So that's all done. Again, the angle of my camera now screwed right up there from what I had it at for a moment there. Damn it. Oh well, I don't expect perfection, I mean. <laughs> for right off, right off the bat, I knew this wasn't gonna be the you know perfect game, but still, they did a really good job overall on uh, getting a lot of things implemented in here. All right. I especially can't wait to see more about the uh, with the adventure mode and such when it comes to co-op. As they have improved that quite a bit as well. Though I haven't really had the time to take a look at it. Oh, there's the camp. So I think we'll actually Make our way up onto the ridge here, and we'll follow the ridge along this side. So I may use a couple extra track joints here, 
But that's just to uh, get a good view of this as we go by. Put this back in my inventory for the moment until I get over here. All right. Um, okay. It's like, I'd like a connecting track, please. Hello? Okay. Weird, but okay. I guess we'll just have to continue along the water here then, since it does not apparently want to go up top here. Hell, maybe we'll eventually be friendly with him and I can just set up a, uh... What the hell? A dock here. Yeah, now we'll angle it up top here if I can. Go further up. And then we'll bank her right back into the water from here, I think. Or no. We'll go up. We'll continue to the edge of the uh, shoreline here, and then we'll... Or actually, no, I guess we're going straight north now, so we don't need that anymore. So yeah, never mind. Never mind. And I missed it again. Just by that much. Damn it. Uh, recycle. Alright. I don't like the sound of that. I don't think it's actually anything, but still. Just every now and then that growl shows up and you're just like, oh god, what is it? What is it? Alright. So hopefully once I complete this section of it, I'll be able to remember who the hell has... Damn it. Uh, who the hell has the uh, minecart itself. That's actually been a problem for a long time as well in this game. The uh, audio engine. It just really never worked that well, sadly. I swear, there were so many times where I'd be like, is my, head is my headset on, like, backwards or something? Because the audio that's supposed to be coming in on the right is coming in on the left. And so on like that. Alright, back over to the next page, which we already gone through. Oh, so we did get through all 60 of them. And we almost made it, too. Unfortunately, now I'm going to have to clear my freaking inventory out of a hundred of them. Or actually, no, I might just barely be good. Depending. We'll see. Because I could potentially... Track end. Nope, I need a couple more. Damn. Alright, let's head back to the colony then. And I think I'll actually put that track end in as well. Just so it recognizes that uh, the rail does not go beyond uh, where it currently does at my base. Excellent. So I'll probably just throw the rest of them in storage for now. It'll still suck because I have to go through my inventory and right-click all of them to get rid of them, but hey. Oh well. I probably should have uh, built less when I realized that it would build them in bulk. <laughs> but it's already done, so 
we'll just move on with what we got. So let's quickly get this thing set up, finished up, and then we'll be good to go. Load faster, damn you! Blarg. <laughs> no, it's taking its sweet time. Ye old storage box. Actually, I just go like this. Oh yeah, it's definitely going to take me a little bit of time to get through this. At least we have three pages worth of storage here, but the fact that I'm filling with this is really unfortunate. Another full page. I'm about to get another storage box now. Oh, thankfully that's it though. Woo! Alright. Okay, let's set up the track end right here. I guess it's just the same thing here. End one. Never mind, I don't need to set up the end. It's just you can set up stations in between them. If you are so inclined. Okay, let's zoom back to the Martian colony. Spend another two minutes in the uh, loading screen. <laughs> And then get the last little few uh, bits placed. And then we are done. Well, semi-done. But hey, we've done our job for today. Blarg. <laughs> Alright. So beyond that, once we get the monorail up and running, that should advance the uh, quest here a little bit as in and of itself. I will need to still do a lot of the side quests for collecting the animal feces and everything. But I can kind of do that as I adventure around, I hope. That or I'll have to just kind of follow around some animals for a while uh, off uh, record and get that done. There we go. It's like, is this... Are you not entertained? Is this not what you wanted? I'm gonna have to look up who has the other design, I guess. Could swear it was somebody here, but who was it? That's just a uh, NPC, so I don't need to worry about them. Or a, not an NPC, a uh, soldier. So that's about their only use. For the most part. Nope, he doesn't sell it. So, I'm honestly not sure who sells that. I will have to uh, look it up again, I guess. Maybe Tank's got something for me. Actually, be stuff in here. I guess they uh, took the models out for some reason. Hmm. Maybe I should try it like this then. Uh. 
Uh, that might do it. I'm not really sure, to be honest. go with that for now though okay so I guess I'll just well let's try going over here maybe because maybe Wiles has it actually he might he might be the one who had it so we'll check this very quickly and then that'll be it because I've got to bounce here momentarily so go 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 This might take a while. <laughs> I might also have to go through the monorail settings as well and uh, see what it says. But yeah, no, I think I'll, regardless, I think I'll end it at this camp here for now. Yo, Janab, there you are. Says you know a thing about two about train carts. Need to be in the colony for this to proceed. Go to my colony. All right, so he's heading back to the colony. In that case, I will warp there, and then call it for now. So next time around, we can uh, build the mine cart or my cart, the monorail cart, and then ride the rail and see how it goes. Which will be most interesting. It'll be the first time I've ever ridden that thing. So yeah. Anyway, I think I might as well end this here. And then save up when I get there. So thank you very much for watching everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Definitely have yourselves a great one. And I will catch you all next time. With some more Plat Explorers. Where hopefully we will finish this up. And then move on to better and brighter things. Till next time.